Part of an officer's job is to conduct traffic stops when the officer has a reasonable suspicion of a traffic or criminal violation by the driver or a passenger. Being stopped by an officer can be a stressful experience for the driver and passengers. It can be stressful for the officer too. For the purposes of this video, the term officer is used to mean a state trooper, a city police officer, or a county deputy sheriff. In this video, we'll explain what you should do if you are pulled over by a law enforcement officer. Knowing what to do and what to expect during the stop will help you stay safe and make the experience less stressful for everyone. When you see the emergency lights behind you, the most important thing to do is to stay calm. If you are pulled over, here is what you should do. Activate your turn signal and pull off the highway or to the side of the roadway as soon as it is safe to do so. Turn off the engine and turn off the radio or any other audio devices. Stay in your vehicle unless the officer tells you to get out of the vehicle. Keep your hands on the steering wheel or in a visible location so they are easily observable. Turn on your interior lights if you are pulled over at night to make it easier for you and the officer to see. The officer may also use a spotlight for additional visibility. The officer may come up to your vehicle on either side. When the officer approaches, remember to lower the window nearest the officer so you and the officer can better communicate. Wait for the officer's instructions before reaching for your driver's license or vehicle documents. Be sure to follow all the officer's instructions. This applies to any passengers in the vehicle as well. This is what you can typically expect from an officer who pulls you over. The officer should explain why you were stopped. Good morning, my name is Trooper Cervantes with the Arizona Highway Patrol. The reason for the stop today is I got you going 70 in a posted 55 zone and I also noticed that your registration is expired. I'm sorry, I'm running late for work and I didn't know my registration was expired. May I have your driver's license, registration and proof of insurance, please? Sure. The officer will return to your vehicle and will typically explain whatever action is being taken. The officer may issue a warning, a traffic ticket, or take another necessary action. If the officer does not explain his or her actions, you may ask the officer to do so. I'm issuing you a citation for your speed and your expired registration. There's a court envelope to assist you with anything else. Please check your mirrors as you pull back into the road and drive safe. Thank you. If you know there is a weapon in the vehicle, let the officer know during your first conversation. Good morning. I'm Officer David Hightower with the Tepe Police Department. The reason I pulled you over today is for speeding. May I please see your driver's license, proof of insurance, and vehicle registration, please? Officer, I want you to know that I have a gun in my glove compartment. Thank you for telling me of the handgun. I'm going to ask that you refrain from opening the glove box during this traffic stop. May I please see your driver's license, proof of insurance, and vehicle registration, please? Remember, wait for the officer's instructions before reaching for your documents. If your driver's license or other information is not easily accessible, advise the officer before trying to retrieve it. My license is on my backpack on the back seat. Okay, with your right hand, you may reach back, grab your backpack, place it on your lap, and retrieve your driver's license. Here you go. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back. Some states have mobile driver's licenses, or MDLs. Here is what to do if you are pulled over and have an MDL. Good afternoon, I'm Corporal Thompson with the Florida Highway Patrol. I stopped you because you were going 71 miles per hour in a 55 speed zone. I also noticed you weren't wearing your seatbelt. May I see your driver's license, vehicle registration, and proof of insurance, please? Here's my vehicle registration and proof of insurance. Can I use my mobile driver license? Yes, show me your QR code, please. I'll be back in just a few minutes. In some cases, the officer will not have the technology needed to receive data from an MDL. If that's the case, you are still required to provide your physical credential and not use your MDL. Good afternoon, I'm Deputy Martin with the Fayette County Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you today is because you're going 50 in a 35 zone. Do you have your driver's license, vehicle registration, and proof of insurance, please? Can I use my mobile driver's license? I'm sorry, I'm not equipped to take the data off your device. Can I get your physical driver's license, please?
Thank you. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good afternoon. Trooper Sherman State Highway Patrol. How are you? I'm good. Good. The reason I have you stop is because you came out of your lane to travel. Did you realize you did that? No, sir. Do you have your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance with you? Yes, sir. I noticed the odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from your breath. How much alcohol have you had to drink? Only two beers. Only two beers? In some cases, the officer may ask you to get out of the vehicle. If this happens, keep your hands visible, exit the vehicle, and stand where the officer directs you to stand. Okay, I'm going to have you take a step out of the car. I'm going to have you do some standardized field sobriety tests. If okay. you can just walk straight to the front of my cruiser. If you disagree with an officer's decision or course of action, do not prolong the contact by arguing with the officer. You may contest the enforcement taken in court through established legal channels. Don't worry, you are not admitting guilt by accepting and signing a traffic ticket. However, if you refuse to sign a traffic ticket, you may be arrested. If you think an officer acted inappropriately, contact the officer's agency and ask to speak to a supervisor. It's best to do this as soon as possible after the stop. Following these procedures will help make a traffic stop a safe experience for everyone. This video is based on the document, What to Do and Expect When Stopped by Law Enforcement, January 2022 edition, published by the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, the International Association of Chiefs of Police, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, and the National Sheriff's Association.